Domestic violence has been labelled the shadow pandemic of COVID-19 by the United Nations. Here in Australia, case numbers have soared. Now, health and support services have partnered up for a creative way to educate communities about the harm caused by family violence. A street play tackling a serious issue. Western Sydney Multicultural Health and not-for-profit group Harmon Foundation collaborating to educate local communities about culturally-minded behaviours to healthy relationships. Especially, you know, coming from India, from the subcontinent, this is something we love and we've always got messages across. Uh, it's easy, it's simple, uh, it's not uh, intrusive. He not only broke all the promises, he broke all the seven vows he had made when we got married. After two months of scripting and rehearsing, the production team of about 15, mostly volunteers, have begun performing English and Punjabi language plays to the public. This is a sensitive topic that we do not talk in public. Um, so if it's just an encouragement for the community, to come together and acknowledge the subject that yes, there is a social evil called domestic and family violence. The scourge of domestic violence brought to the forefront this year. Activist group Destroy the Joint recorded 48 female deaths as a result of violence in Australia this year. Police have linked 35 of the deaths to family violence. Joe Fuller from the Education Centre Against Violence believes community-led prevention projects are key to tackling the issue. They're speaking with their voice um, and saying the things that are important to their community. Otherwise, it's just seen as experts telling people what to do. It's easy to work with the converted, but you need to bring everybody on board, and that was a slow process. And the community's leader support has enabled us to uh, progress much more easier. This initiative is aimed at the South Asian community here, particularly new arrivals to the country who may not know where to go for help in relation to domestic and family violence. Our fights escalated from verbal abuse. The production will be rolled out across Western Sydney in coming months. Lynn Evelyn, SBS World News.